Okay, let's get a few things straight. Just using incognito mode on your browser is not enough to actually keep your browsing private. And even if you aren't doing anything illegal or illicit, that doesn't mean that browsing privately isn't a good idea or that no one is after your browsing data. Because we live in the data economy, data is the new oil after all, it's not crazy talk to say that everyone is after your data because they are. And the top suggestion is to use a VPN, but there are lots of issues with that. You're relying on a company to safeguard your info that you have to pay these ongoing fees and it's not as secure as you might actually think. So in this video, I'll show you another way, a device that you can run at home that makes your browsing completely private and it even earns you money in return. The Anyone protocol is building a global privacy network that protects your data without relying on a single centralized provider. With their plug and play device, you can browse the internet privately but it also rewards you in the process. The Anyone network was created from a fork of the Tor network. Anyone leverages the power of onion routing like what Tor offers, but with a twist. Your data is routed through multiple relays ensuring that no single node has complete access. Like Ogres, the onion routing has multiple layers. Traditional VPNs and centralized privacy providers require you to trust a single company with your data, which leaves you exposed to potential breaches and misuse of your information. And some of these even keep logs of all the traffic going through their services. And what's even the point if they do that? So what exactly is the Anyone router and why should you consider buying this thing or not? Well, it's a small plug and play device designed to make joining the Anyone network as simple as possible, even if you're not a tech expert. You run your internet traffic through the router and it gets encrypted and routed through a decentralized network. This means that your data is shrouded in layers of encryption, keeping it private. And this device has encryption chips comparable to those that are found in crypto hardware wallets. It uses very minimal power and you likely won't even notice it on your power bill. Plus there's even more functionality coming in the future. The router will be a full featured home router that handles all internet traffic for your household or office, not just traffic from one device. Planned upgrades also include a firewall and DNS privacy to block unwanted connections or malicious sites and ensure that any website names that you look up like, I don't know, Affinity.net, not that you'd ever go to that website, are kept private, plus plenty of other features that are coming. So if you buy one of these routers, how much will you earn? The Anyone Network is a crypto project and their token is the Anyone token. So by running this device, anyone can earn anyone. Thank you, I'll be here all week. Almost all rewards delivered are dependent on the total number of other devices providing the same service and which of them provides higher quality. Of the maximum 100 million Anyone token supply, 10% or 10 million tokens are set aside specifically to fund the relay reward pool of which the hardware routers are a part. Another 8.5% is allocated to the Anyone Foundation, which is linearly invested and also marketing, CEX, listings, DAO, and project advisors. This means that most of the remaining supply is circulating and was fair launched, meaning that the majority of the tokens were put into circulation from the start. From that 10% reward pool, 56% of those rewards are allocated to active relays based on observed bandwidth. A relay's observed bandwidth ramps up over the first 56 days that it's active. It's important to note that the rewards are split between hardware relays and non-hardware relays. The hardware relays are the routers that I'm talking about in this video that are sold through Helium Deploy, while a non-hardware relay is just software hosted on your own device, such as a personal computer or a cloud server, which is pretty cool that you can run the Anyone network on your own without any of the specialized hardware like the router. However, it should be noted that the hardware relays do earn roughly eight times as many rewards as the software relay. Within the rewards allocated to the hardware relays like the routers, 14% of the rewards are linked specifically to uptime versus just bandwidth. Those running in any one router are entitled to earn from the hardware only pool, which competes only with other official hardware routers. And currently there are fewer than 1,000 of these hardware routers in operation, 
which is very low. As more of these relays come online, each one's share of that same token pi gets smaller. Multiple relays run by the same operator are known as relay families. By accurately declaring families, you earn a small boost in the reward for your relays. In addition, any delegated staking towards your family grants you 5% of their earnings. Plus then you can be like Dom and say, I don't have friends. I got family. And lastly, relays in unique locations will get a small reward boost, while relays in heavily populated areas will have their rewards slightly lowered. So with all that out of the way, an Anyone router can expect to earn an average of 4.5 Anyone tokens a day, or 134 a month as of right now. And looking at the current price of the Anyone token of 34 cents per token, that's about $1.50 per day, or $45 a month in earnings. To help estimating your rewards, Anyone just released a real-time reward tracking page that I will link down below. Now, if anyone were to reach its most recent all-time high of $2 from January of this year, well, then each router could be earning $9 a day or $268 a month. And if anyone reached Helium's market cap of 500 million, well, then each router could earn $22 a day or about $670 per month. And considering that this device costs $400, you could earn all that back in less than nine months or maybe as little as just two to three months. And in my book, any crypto device that has a chance of ROI in under a year is worth a consideration. Plus a VPN service like NordVPN costs about $13 a month. So not only do you nearly earn that monthly fee back from the router rewards, but once you have the device, you never have to have a VPN subscription again. So in summary, if you want the best possible chance to maximize your rewards, you need a higher bandwidth, stable connectivity, good internet speed, and higher router uptime. If you keep the device online around the clock, you'll qualify for a higher uptime tier and earn more tokens. Brief maintenance downtime or turning the device off for a little bit won't hurt you much, but repeated or prolonged offline periods do lower your share. As of right now, there are no KYC requirements nor any restrictions for countries like the US. Now let's address some common privacy concerns. First of all, the routers only store diagnostic and network info, not actual site requests. Information about inbound and outbound connections is not stored or published on the routers or anywhere else. Secondly, you might be asking, what happens if someone connects and visits an illegal site and it's tracked back to my router and internet connection? Well, the short answer is that unless you set up your router as an exit relay or the final stop in the Anyone network where your encrypted data emerges onto the regular internet, then it's extremely unlikely you'd be held responsible for any illegal activity passing through your router. In order to become an exit relay, you have to set up your router in a very specific way. Anyone have set up some guidelines on how to handle potential risks if you want to be an exit relay. Plus they also block and filter illegal websites and activity. They also plan to implement machine learning to help with filtering this in the future. And finally, with the data passing through the router being encrypted, who can see it? Well, the good news is that only the sender and receiver of the message can see it. So what is the process of buying one of these hotspots and starting to earn with it? Well, essentially it's no more complicated than purchasing your favorite pair of socks online. Just go to Helium Deploy through the link down below, click on the buy button. Each router costs $400. Then you can check out using fiat or crypto. Helium Deploy supports multiple payment methods. The expected delivery is early April, 2025. However, as stock reaches warehouses, the delivery time will likely get shorter and shorter. After you purchase your router, you will need to follow a few steps to set it up. I will leave a step-by-step -step guide down in the description along with everything else. The Anyone router purchased through Helium Deploy comes with a free Deepin Tracker license worth $200. $250. In other words, if you were to buy the Anyone router from anywhere else and then wanted to track the router's performance with Helium Deploy's tracking, which does have many great features, by the way, well, then you need to pay an additional 250 bucks. But by purchasing the router through Helium Deploy, the tracker comes at no additional cost. You can even use Helium Deploy's tracker for many other deep-end projects too. It's not just limited to anyone. It will tell you when they go offline and track their earnings and a bunch of other stuff. 
Another piece of cool news here is that because I'm working with Helium Deploy to make this video, I'm giving away an Anyone router to one of you. To enter that giveaway, leave a comment down below about why privacy matters to you. I will pick one random comment, get your information, and send you a free Anyone router. Now that we've covered that, let's talk about the potential downsides and risks here. While Anyone has a great idea, in my opinion, and does seem to have a very experienced and well-rounded team, including a Helium co-founder as an advisor, this is crypto and nothing, absolutely nothing is guaranteed. It's possible that anyone might not scale as fast as needed or might run into adoption hurdles. At least right now, I do think that a service at this level is fairly niche, especially when you consider that we're just now getting to a place where VPNs are slightly more commonplace, but there's still likely plenty of available market if they capture it right. And if they do capture it right, well then the token price does have significant upside potential. But if they don't, well then there's always the risk that the token price goes down and never recovers, which is a risk that pretty much every crypto holds. Another potential downside is that only 10% of the total supply is dedicated to the rewards pool, which is significantly lower than other projects. Then again, only about 8.5% of the supply is set aside for the project itself, the foundation, marketing, DAO, advisors, etc., which is not a lot. Most of the remaining supply is already in circulation, which could be a good way to prevent further inflation. All that said, I am optimistic since this is still so early, with only around a thousand hardware routers in service. And usually with stuff like this, getting in early gives you a better chance for higher rewards. Plus the demand for privacy does seem to be rising. Major consumer VPNs have proven that people are willing to pay for privacy. And anyone is actually removing the trust portion of the equation. And I think people will find that valuable? I know that I do. But as always, I am not your investment guru or your dad. Do your own research and invest only what you can afford to lose. Make your own decisions. And I'm not just saying that to CYA. I'm saying that you should actually go out there, use more sources than just my video and decide if this is an opportunity for you or not. The Anyone router is just one of several very interesting crypt devices that could make you quite a bit of money. But you need to watch this video right here to see another device that could also be super lucrative but has a much lower risk profile than so many other crypto devices out there right now. Goodbye.